Welcome into WXOU Family Feud. Contestants, we asked 100 listeners what's the greatest thing about WXOU. Well, I really like Top 40 music all day, every day. Not really. WXOU features free-form programming, keeping content fresh all day long. Well, I've always been a fan of creative commercials. Really? Commercials? WXOU is commercial-free, keeping the creative content going 24-7. Uh, I like sports. Well, that's not really an answer, but close enough. WXOU broadcasts all men's and women's home basketball games with complete pregame, postgame, and halftime coverage. Since that's the best answer we're going to get, that's going to do it from here. I'm Brendan Riley. These guys are clueless. I'm done. I quit. I can't handle it. Hey, shout out to Brandon Riley, a WXOU alum who's working now in ESPN radio for Chicago. Shout out to him. I never heard that PSA before. But welcome back to the Jomo Show, 88.3 FM WXOU. I'm Giovanni Mosheri, your host, and we got, we got some things to talk about here. So this one, is, I've been thinking about talking about this for a while. Ever since the Monday night game against the Green Bay Packers in, in the, at the New York Giants... I've had some thoughts. Now, before I do any of this, I want to make very clear. Nothing against the player or the team or anybody personally. With that being said. So, okay, let me, let me give you guys some context. Hold on, let me, let me back up a little bit. Let me give you guys some context for what I'm about to talk about. So the New York Giants stink. Or stunk. Rather, they start off the season two and eight and had an injury to two quarterbacks, $40 million a year, Daniel Jones or 48. I forget what he's paid, but he's paid a lot and he's not that good. You got Daniel Jones. He got hurt. And then Tyrod Taylor, the backup also got hurt. So usually two quarterbacks down. It's doom and gloom for the team suffering such injuries. Up comes Tommy DeVito. The undrafted rookie quarterback out of Syracuse is now playing in the NFL, thrust into a position he doesn't, you know, you normally don't want your team to be in, but he's the guy, he's the next man up, and it's time to go. Well, he's kind of on a three game win streak right now. Didn't start off that way, but the past three games have been W's for the New York Giants. And let me repeat the name again for you guys Tommy DeVito. Sounds Italian, doesn't it? Oh, it's very Italian. And if you guys keep up a little bit more with the NFL, then you'll know that it's very well known that he is Italian. His celebration is a little, uh, I'll try to describe this in words, but that little like pinched finger flick of the wrist thing that Italians do. You know, all Italians do that, of course. Every single one of them. And they all do it the same way that, you know, as eccentric and as ridiculous as they do it. So either way, they got the pinch finger thing going. That's kind of the celebration. And that's what their thing is. So on Monday night, Tommy DeVito leads a game-winning drive. Huge, huge play, roll out to the right, touchdown in the corner, get them in field goal range, win the game. Really, really big game for the undrafted, for the undrafted rookie. But that's the football. That's you know, I kind of went outside the football stuff, but... That's the football side of things. I love that football side of things. It's a comeback story for the team and for a kid who wasn't drafted to get a chance and now is a star. That's a great story. But something about it bothers me. Now, what is it? And you guys can get into the conversation. I'll throw out the phone number for the station. 248-370-4274. We can have a conversation about this. This is why I put the Detroit Lions last and potentially up to YouTube. But what, I, I got to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me go through mine. Uh, I, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this Tommy DeVito mania. Again, 248-370-4274. So here's the thing. I'm Italian. I am. My name is Giovanni Mosheri. Host of the Joe Mo Show. Okay? I'm Italian. Both sides. 
It's a big part of my life. It's one. It's a badge that I wear proudly. And normally, and others feel this way as well. In a case like this, where you got an Italian superstar in the league, or maybe we'll, we'll say media superstar, then that's a good thing. He's one of us. Hey, we got a paisan. Uh, we we got a we got a, a, a cugino. He's uh, popular. Yes, that, that's a thing, and there's part of that too. I I, I feel there's a we we got a cumbare over there in New York. But here's the thing. It bothers me to my core when I'm on social media and I'm hearing coverage of the Giants and I got to see pictures and edits of Tommy DeVito throwing a chicken parmesan sandwich instead of a football. When I got to see all about Tommy Cutlets, the name Tommy Cutlets. We, I don't call it cut. We don't call it cutlets in my house, but I understand that's a common thing. Whatever, but like it's Tommy Cutlets, Cutlets this, Cutlets that. He's in love with his mom. He eats a Cutlets. It, when it when it's all that, and it's all the hand gesture, and it's the hey, hey, a chicken a sandwich, and the 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 Cutlets. Uh, oh, listen, that really gets on my nerves, and I don't like getting mad for no reason. So let me elaborate. It's fine. It, 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 this, is why I got, this is why I want you guys in the conversation. 248-370-4274. This is why I want you guys in the conversation. Because I, I know I'm walking on, a, on thin ice here. And beneath the thin ice is hypocrisy. I'm walking. Here's another metaphor. I'm walking on, on landmines here. So I, I need you guys to kind of keep me in check here. But for me, it, it bothers me because... At least the media coverage of it. Again, nothing to do with Tommy himself, but the coverage of him really bothers me because it's all just so thoughtless and disingenuous. When I see graphics of Tommy DeVito throwing chicken cutlets to the end zone, and I see just his face on the Goodfellas poster, and I have to see... All this stupid Italian stereotype cartoon stuff, it bothers me. What bothers me the most, what really gets me going, what got my heart rate pumping when I was typing this all out, was that stupid ass agent who dressed up in a Halloween costume, pretended to be on the phone with nobody, and was pretending to do big tough guy mafia business. Hey, you make sure that my guy gets what he needs, okay? Or else you sleep with the fish. Are you serious? And that's the thing that's most popular. That stupid agent in that Party City $15 Halloween costume of a suit that no one's worn in a hundred years... He's the guy who gets the most coverage. He's the guy that's on every poster and every graphic and everything to do with the Giants. And everything to do with the NFL now. That's the guy I have to look at. That cartoon character, that absolute mockery, that spit in the face of my culture. And it's not that like, oh, it, I mean, yeah, it's a little... You could call it offensive. I wouldn't. I, that's not the word I'm, I'm thinking of. I think it just looks stupid. That's that's the thing. It's so disingenuine. No one does that. No one comes close to doing that. It's a cartoon. It's an act. It's fake. That's what bothers me. Is when you is when it's a stereotypical Italian thing for the sake of it being a stereotypical Italian thing. If the reason it's funny is that because he's Italian if that's the only reason that you think something is funny or you think you should post something or you, shink, you think you should dress up that way, then it's really annoying. Then it really bothers me. And I think you shouldn't do it. If the reason, and I keep bringing this up as an example, this was from DraftKings, an ad that they posted on Instagram of him with throwing the, the cutlet sandwich. If the only reason you make that is, haha, he's Italian and he said the word cutlets before, then I think it's really stupid. And I think it's disrespectful. And I think it's baloney that everyone could just do that. And there's no problem with it. 
that that is commonplace and then that's popular and people love it. And, I mean, like, no, that's that's really dumb. That's lazy. That's that. I don't understand how that's okay. I don't understand that. Again, help me out here. Am I going crazy here? Get, tweet at me at you know, use the hashtag the Jomo Show. I have a hashtag now. But but help me out here, because I I feel like I'm a little bit over the edge on this. But I I got I got to hear from you guys. You guys got to let me know whether it's you're watching this on YouTube or and you leave it in the comments. Whether you're on Twitter later and you want to at me and use the hashtag the Joe Mo Show, then please do. But that stuff bothers me really, really much. Whew. And here's another thing. There's more to it. I'm not done yet. There was a reporter. There, there was two idiot reporters with the New York Giants that were talking to Brian Dayball about, about Tommy, obviously. That's a big story. They're going to ask him about it. But there is this one moron that asked the head coach of the New York Giants if he's had the cutlets yet. Have you tasted the cutlets? Has, have you tried Mama DeVito's cutlets? What? No! And Daybolt knows it's stupid. You can see on his face that he's rolling his eyes like this. This is the dumbest question I've ever heard. You think that Tommy's mom came to the New York Giants facility with a Tupperware of cutlets and said, Here you go, coach. What? No. Tommy doesn't have a backpack of cutlets and is, you know, handing them out to everybody just so they could try him when he's only been playing for like four weeks for four games. Such a stupid question, and it's just, it's, it's lazy, it's idiotic, and it's like, don't even bother asking. Another reporter, this one is more in the football sense, as opposed to the Italian sense, but one, one person asked him, hey coach, you were on the staff with the, you were on the staff with the Patriots when Tom Brady was just starting. Do you see any, and he was cut off. It's been four games. That's what Coach said. They were asking if he sees any similarities with Tommy DeVito and Tom Brady. Are you insane? You do this for a living, and that's the question you come up with? Is Tommy DeVito Tom Brady after four games? I can't stand this stuff. All that new, all that coverage just really, really bothers me. It boils my blood and it's lazy and it's annoying do better new york media they're supposed to be the best in the business there's it's supposed to be the media capital of the world and you got morons asking if he's had the cutlets yet and asking the head coach if he's had cutlets yet and let me reel this back in we'll we'll get to the, we'll get to the Jomo show picks real soon but let me reel this all in again i love what tommy devito has done on the football field him himself even in the in the media not playing much into that, into the whole like big Italian thing. He does the hand thing, whatever. But he, he kind of a little more calm and and, t- and kept together in the media. I appreciate. I really appreciate that. The, co- the coach doing the same thing. Really, you know, that's what you should do. And the thing is, is let me give you an example. It's okay. At, like whatever you do, whatever you do, regardless, like, even beyond the Italian thing, whatever you do. As long as it's genuine. As long as that's the real you. And it's the you without a plot, without anything to gain, like right away, or at least intentionally. If you are just being you, do whatever you want. That's what I see. Like, like there's the example of Tommy's family basically feeding an entire tailgate with all, with, you know, with 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 ziti and cutlets and, and all this Italian food, I don't see that as the social media stupid stunt that his agent was doing. Because you know, I see it as a more like genuine, nice thing to do to celebrate their son, kind of thing. I I could be completely wrong. I could be like misinterpreting all of this, but from what I see, like that stuff. It's genuine and it's totally fine. 
if you happen to talk in a like sopranos like hey like, if that's how you genuinely talk no problem but if you're doing it to act and pretend to be italian or whatever other culture that's when we got a problem that's when the jomo show has a problem anyway whew, needed that one off my chest that one's been building up for a little bit uh since the uh, devito's story's been growing over the past couple weeks so need to get that off my chest hope you guys <laughs> let's let's reel it back in here okay let's get to the jomo show picks <laughs> 